and welcome to Idle Banner on the Fuel Injection Podcast. Today we got some familiar faces on. That was my dog, excuse me. Uh, we got Oily from uh, France and Gallon of Jake from somewhere in Upper New York. Uh, and we got, of course, Cody and Damon, like usual, and then there's me. Uh, and today, you know, we got Drive Tribe and Food Tribe shutting down, going bye bye. So we got people here to talk about. Uh, what that's gonna be like for them. So, awkward moment of silence. Anyone want to begin? <laughs> I just asked, does that mean they're not coming on then? <laughs> no, no, they're definitely not coming on then. That awkward silence looks like that old talk to your moment where Jeremy says, well, there's a pause, so James, it must be you. And then Richard <laughs> says, hey, correct, it's you. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh are you God. starting? Uh, let's let's start with the question. Let's start with the question. What was right. what was one of your favorite moments from Drive Tribe of all of all your entire tenure on the site? One of the first times that I you know, one of the best times like one of the first times I ever uh, like I, I remember we started like maybe a good. 60 something comment thread uh, where it's basically just me taking deliberate and repeated shop shots at a certain brown Audi. And, uh, <laughs> at the time it was new, so like, she was really triggered. Um, but other people I, he hadn't and quite understood his audience yet, you know. There were several posts afterwards just, uh, you know, about like whether it was brown or black and like different colors and stuff. And it was a surprising spread in which uh, people were very conflicted on that issue <laughs> i remember it was like something like it was like 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 47 and 53 at the end of the day or something it was yeah. surprising hmm. well i'll, I'll oh, david you put your hand up i pressed the button <laughs> okay that might have been my favorite moment probably her least favorite moment no actually that's my favorite now if you've asked me that but about nine months ago i would have said fuck you but <laughs> <laughs> that's actually what you did say uh, and we're explicit <laughs> This is a PC thirteen content. Okay, how did yeah. we not? How did we manage not to swear the whole time before filming? But the moment we, the moment that film... Jake comes on, I'm just like, you fool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I am from New York, so it does have an effect on me. I know you, York. I've watched Brooklyn Nine Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's that's accurate. Yeah, accurate. Brooklyn Nine Nine, Wolf of Wall Street, any of those movies will show. I've watched Street Friends. Coast. I've watched Brooklyn Nine Nine. I've watched How I Met Your Mother. I know what New York is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but the the Brown Audi thing, that it slowly did become one of my favorite things, because I don't know. It was just like it was one of those things where people were so conflicted. It was kind of funny to watch people go. No, it's black. No, it's definitely black. It was just it was, the, the intensity of the internet. It was this one guy that said, it's there. purple. So it's it's like purple. like midnight purple, like Nissan no. Skyline purple. This is the type of person who probably sees a red light and then goes through a green. <laughs> tell, you know, goes through when it's red and says, uh, sorry, officer, I thought it was green. <laughs> you see, this, exactly. this is the thing I... <laughs> Exactly. This is the thing I, I uh, love. I did also, the best part of that was that I really like the A6. I really like the A6. I really like the A7. So it's just, number one, to me, proved that I can insult anything no matter how much I like it. And at, really? the, you know, like at the time, I don't think she knew quite how much I enjoyed and you know how much I've been in them and stuff like that. No, because you the hadn't seven. mentioned it to me, you twat. Yeah. <laughs> you, just, you just started having a go at it for no reason. No context at all. You didn't well, say, I love this car, but it looks brown. You just said, it looks brown. It's brown, it's yeah. Well, it does. At the time, it did. You had it covered in dirt. What do you expect? <laughs> you see, this is why like, we managed to laugh at our own curls. <laughs> Pretty good. No, but actually, the, the bit of that whole brown Audi thing that mm. tops it completely for me was that there was someone who's... Uh, no longer on Drive Tribe and no longer friends with anyone on this podcast, um, especially me and Jake. Uh, his name was also oh, Jake, no. and he was a, a hillbilly from, from Minnesota, and he had literally no sense of humor at all. And anytime Jake, th this Jake over here, would have a go at my Audi, the other Jake would go, 
He, he was just so defending me. He goes, no, it's not brown. He, what are you, colorblind, you idiot? It's not brown. Stop doing that. And I'm like, I mean, eventually, I, at first I was like, yeah, I was kind of siding with him. But I'm, then I'm like, no, he's just joking. Yeah. What's like, the line shut up. I think I told him is like, no, I'm not colorblind, but I saw your truck. I wish I was blind. <laughs> No, I mean, you, you, you did that whole post about why uh, why you should only get a all-wheel drive pickup truck. And at the time, you didn't have yeah. one. And no, he lives in Minnesota, which is kind of dumb him. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I know also, I have a friend, and I can actually speak from experience now. The amount of time she's been stuck up here with, like, the lightest snowfall in her Texas edition Silverado. I could get, like... I could get a Focus RS, and I would have to take the tow hook and drag her out if I bought one. Because yes, a, a tiny course. little hatchback towing a truck. Yeah, welcome to <laughs> welcome to anywhere with a British head south. gasket. Yeah, with the British head gasket. <laughs> okay, well she's paying for the repairs. All right, it's still cheaper <laughs> than a tow truck. Oh, uh, I, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on that with prices of Ford bits at the moment, at least in the UK. Yeah, it's, that's fair enough, but I mean, it's not my money. What do I care? <laughs> so, so Orly, what's uh, one of your favorite moments oh. from Drive Tribe or Food Tribe? It's a hard question. I don't have only one moment. I prefer to spend on Drive Tribe. I have many and many hmm. souvenirs in four years. But when I sign her pin, 2017. Okay. I didn't imagine uh, what I lived in five years. Um, if I had, if I have to choose one moment, the duty party. <laughs> so yeah. you, just said, you just said that's pants. I don't know if the viewers can yeah, see that. Yeah, the duty party was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the DT yeah. party in uh, the UK, right? At the office? Yeah, yeah. 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 So you, you went to that, oh no. It took place in November 29, 2019, sorry. Yeah. And it was great. We met a lot of amazing people. Um, team. Did Benny you get Alan. to meet Mr. Pink and Tega Coleman himself? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The only one thing. It missed at that time. It was James, Jeremy, and Richard. They yeah. were they were in friends, and I come from friends. <laughs> <laughs> like oh my god, are you? <laughs> I was in Thailand when they were in friends. Yeah, you? yeah. So yeah, I traveled all this way for nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We spent a good moment in London during the Teddy party. Yeah, I've seen um, folks. Yeah, but... yeah. One of one of them make a vlog on YouTube. Mix. I post, I post the, the link in the Discord server if you want to see what I lived. <laughs> it was great. Very nice. Yeah, the DT party was great. I can't, re I can't remember what the best moment. The DT bar, she was great at the office, but the, uh, the, the end of the night was more great, more great. We spent the night in James May's quarter in his, in his favorite pub. It was great. It oh, really? Was really great. I can't you went to which James May's house favorite house back oh, okay. With James? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we were in Hammersmith. It was it was great. It was uh, real. We saw his house. <laughs> one of uh, one of my friends told us, "Come on, come on. Uh, I know where James lives." <laughs> <laughs> and then, let's what? just go stalk James May's house. Are you stalking him? Were you were you no. the person who stole his identity? <laughs> <laughs> But one of the few people who stole his identity. Yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. It was the first time I've seen someone describe it. Were you the, uh, the cause of that whole segment on Grand Tour? Yeah. It, was, it was very, very You're strange. the cause of Dingleberry Handpump. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike, that's the first person I've said that described Hammersmith as a good place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I, come from, I don't come from London, so I don't yeah. know if How Hammersmith did you manage to is not good, have a like four days? <laughs> Yeah, the duty party and the after party was was great. It, if I, I have to choose one moment um, in in my drive drive life, it yeah. was a duty with with without any data. Well, all of a sudden the uh, the brown Audi jokes were a little less, uh, less fun and uh, interesting <laughs> and important and cool. Yeah, and the next thing to talk about and memorable. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's Meanwhile, she got to go and meet the trio. Okay. Jake, yeah, Jake hasn't heard the story of how I crashed my dad's Astra, has he? No. Uh, please, Alright, okay, I've told this one quite a few times. So, in Romford, which on the other side of Hammersmith, which is where my house was, there was a driving park. So, which, if you're under age, you can go drive. So, we just went, we went drive. <clears throat> we parked in this end, which was straight into a junction. Uh, and it's a manual, so I was just looking at the pedals, trying to concentrate. So I went forward, launch without stalling, look up, pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cock. And Does so that I mean hit, he's looking on there? Pedal. <laughs> I know it wasn't the throttle, because I didn't accelerate into the pole, but I don't remember if it was the clutch or the brake. All I know is I didn't stop quick enough. <laughs> right, you're probably, just like, you're probably like, you know, you accelerated and you went to like hit the brake and you just hit the clutch instead. Some, I hit some form of pedal. And yeah. then about three miles an hour, I hit a pole. Right, well, it's only three miles an hour. So speaking of slow, speaking terrible. of low-speed incidents, I went to a car meet today, and the BMW managed to crash into a Nissan Silvia at four miles an hour. Come mm. on, James May. Oh, for Christ's sake. Yeah, really. Poor James. Please, meet on Tarweezy. Mate, you withering <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Me, so I yeah. drove. Uh, I hadn't driven the <laughs> standard in a while, but I was down in Central Philly in rush hour in a 2003 Audi A4 3.0. I think I sent you that photo, mm. Layla. But uh, yeah. Yeah. it was kind of not the place to drive standard for the first time in seven months. Mm. Well, you know, downtown rush hour wasn't the greatest place, but uh, I did it. Was, I was like, I miss this. And I also then realized I'd been lied to. <laughs> My buddy was saying, you know, clutch, he's like, oh, the clutches are so heavy. And so he has like a, a beefed up 86, uh, you know, but this is like, you know, race spec at this point, you know, twin plate clutch and stuff. And he made it sound so difficult. And then I'm like, no, that's just because you're driving a track car on the road. <laughs> you're skipping leg day, my guy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, even with leg day, that, that car is tough. <laughs> But you'll see him like it'll be a slight incline, and I'll just have the handbrake all the way up, basically just like having to like launch control it. <laughs> yeah. That's like, that's like Not saying the it's hard to park while the driving in the areas where I live in the very mm. tight, small, like you know, uh, single lane road. Yeah, yeah. I said, I said, oh my, I said at this rate you're going to become a Mustang forever. Yeah. <laughs> you mean he wasn't already? He, he no, he wasn't. He did. He, he drives. Up. He drives like he is one. So he blew up his own engine. But that's a so. So he story. did attack me. I mean, he yeah. did the other stuff that Fords do. Come on, what? where's the where's the Ford uh, where's the uh, Ford fanatics input on that one? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. What car was this? I mean, he managed to blow up a, a Toyota uh, GT86. Oh, with the, uh, with yeah, he did attack me. Have, if you've watched, have you watched Initial D? Yeah. Yeah, halfway through, you know, remember the Evo race? Oh my the, with, God. Against the black Evo. I have a friend who had who had an Evo 10, and then he blew up his engine at Watkins Glen. What is well, it with you and friends blowing up the engine? What we're learning is two, I don't know. two to 2.5 litre small turbo engine with a lot of pressure don't have a long shelf life. Yeah, maybe there is no displacement for replacement. You know, there's no replacement for <laughs> displacement. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> No <laughs> displacement for replacement. Huh? Uh, I think you uh you got a little dyslexic on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Uh, yeah. I don't know. What is a reliable small turbo engine that has power? Look, a small Ford is about as reliable as my English. 
A big Ford is about a sense of direction. A big Ford is about a being black. You just walked into that one. Yeah. <laughs> just set that up and said, "Yep, I'm stepping yeah. straight into that bow trap." You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> You or your golf game in your head puts, instead. Let's oneself in the said trap. Yeah. So, what were, what did Drive Tribe mean to you? Like, why, why did it had, why did it have significance for both of you? What made it so important? Like community, or the ability to post, or something like that. I mean, shitting on the Audi was a nice part of it, for sure. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like, the community around that. Like, I always enjoyed that. Um, also, the fact that it was online, so I could voice my very controversial opinions about cars without being shot immediately. Yeah. Or ran <laughs> over by a Ford driver. Uh, I mean, chances are, this is why I haven't come down. He lives in New York. He probably already years. has. I do fully, I, I fully expect that Layla will drive up in a Jag, with a 12 gauge shotgun in a passenger street, passenger seat, and say, "Remember all those brown Audi jokes?" Click clack. Wouldn't she come in the brown? Wouldn't she come in the brown Audi though to add insult to injury? I mean, if she wanted to actually get there, then yes. <laughs> Just say. I mean, so, uh, now, with now, the Audi now I'm gonna die. Uh, looking <laughs> completely black and not brown with the. 12 gauge, 12 gauge shotgun. Well, well, I'm, I'm, sure it'd be, I'm sure it'd be red by the end of this trip, wouldn't it? <laughs> that, that tri true. I mean, it would be brown on the way up. It is a 1,200 mile drive through Texas. Yeah. I'll just get it cleaned shortly before I go and blow your head off. <laughs> red. Crimson, yeah. I'll become a hood ornament. Yeah. There you go. I mean, Audi should have had a hood ornament. I mean, Mercedes does. I no, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just put your head on it and put a little sign that says, "This is what happens to people who talk shit about my Audi." No, no, you'll just get a little golden placard that it and say Nigel Mansell. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oof. You sort of look out like him, minus the mustache. Or just it's not brown; it's sunburnt orange. <laughs> sunburnt it's orange. Awesome! <laughs> I was driving an orange Jetta, like you know, like one of those, like no, orange Jeep actually. And somebody said, "Is that a brown Jeep?" And I'm like, "Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now?" Because like, they don't know, they don't be? know Top Gear, they don't know Grand Tour, so they don't know that. But all I was thinking about was, "Oh my God, I can't buy this car now." <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's ruined. Done. Nice. I used to like orange cars, and then that episode came out. Yeah, that's, that is fair. My uh, Spanish like teacher Miatas, at school has an orange Jetta, and, and, and don't she, like uh... Oh, that's now, what happened right, to me I see in the orange, the orange the Audi A7 like, no, doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things where... You, but you get that, right? Like, sometimes seeing a certain person in a car or a certain spec just ruins it for you. Oh, there was a Friends episode about that. I think Ross bought an MGB. And he thought he was so cool, and then this old guy drove past in this exact same spec MGB. <laughs> right first. Like this old guy missing two teeth wearing a scabby jacket. Right, yeah. I was gonna say that was my always my problem with like Porsche 911 for years. And I hadn't driven one yet, but I, I recently, you know, last year I drove a, a 992 Carrera 4S and I absolutely loved it. Ooh. But I saw all of, but the thing is, I had grown up my whole life with like seven of my neighbors who are like, you know, close to retirement and probably dentists, if we're being perfectly honest. Uh, they do drive Porsche 911, so that's a good indication. Well, and I was going to say, dentists. is this just dentists the car for some. old men who need blue pills? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Also, I just realized, uh, I just noticed uh, Mr. Viper ACR15, uh, the username. Is that my username on here? Is it? Dodge Viper On my one, it's Big Viper Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is on oh. mine. Oh, that's that might be a nickname or something. Oh, that's interesting. That's Dodge Viper ACR 15. Yep, it's don't... the same on Discord, too. Oh, so trust me, my, my Xbox username is Drifting E46 M3. So. <laughs> Have you driven an M3 or drifted it? 
Well, are we counting Need for Speed? <laughs> no, I'm talking about real life. No, but in my defense, I was 12. I mean, come on. Uh, just be like just be like a Ford driver, you know, take it on a joyride. Yeah, I only started liking Ford. And then proceed to crash it and blow the head gasket. Mind, mind you, 15-year-olds back in the 90s, that is all they did. This is why the PlayStation has been the savior of old cut of hot hatches. Yeah. Because that means kids <laughs> don't go out and just steal them. Because they can do it on Forza instead. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's why the that, otherwise hot hatches would never have come back to the Britain. Yeah. I remember the day I got my driving license, uh, my friend texted me and said, oh, it's like, congratulations. Uh, don't tell me you drive like you do in GTA 5. <laughs> I said, I don't worry. I to do just I that. I said, don't worry. There is no, like, once you are wasted or, like, dead, it's it's game over. You can't respond. Yeah. It's no, there's no switch to Trevor. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, bro, it's only two stars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trevor's best lines. Never eat Indian people. <laughs> or, you know, wow. he's got so many good lines, Trevor, on that game. But it's like, you know, you know, when you're about to die, you just switch characters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Well, online, you can't. You can't, you can't life, so. Or online. Online's a pain. <laughs> But no, online, uh, I, I just, I mean, oh my god, online is so toxic, it's great. I have a flip card online. <laughs> oh god, oh, you <laughs> bastard, I hate you. If you, have, <laughs> if you have a flip card and a press a mark two, I immediately hate you and will come down and murder you. No, driving well, either... Well, I'll with my orbital. Driving, well, I'd either be driving what's left of a Ford Retinue Mark, to, mark 1, I have a Mark 1, which is basically a Ford Escort that actually works. Oh, or... It actually worked. What? Imagine if they had realistic damage in GTA. Oh, god. No one would ever get anywhere. You would actually just blow up an engine in the game. Yeah. For context, <laughs> Layla, do you remember the flip car from Fast and Furious 6? Uh... That little low maybe? slug metal thing? That oh, that like thing! Fun. The thing yeah, that looked like an F1 that car. That's yeah, yeah, that oh, exact car. Oh, I said, yeah. why? I managed, so to, I managed to hack it out a little bit, and I uh, managed to get a jet engine on mine. <laughs> oh my god. No one can get away from you. You menace. <laughs> oh, and I managed to god mode just the car. Not me, just the car. So yes, I've been shot in the car through the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, that's good. The, that's the only saving grace about the flip car, is it? it is so exposed, there's no doors on it. And you've got a big window at the front, so if you if you know what you're doing, you can take them out quite quickly. <laughs> yeah, but now I have a jet engine on mine. <laughs> yeah. Ah, well, you see, th jump. with realistic damage, you'd melt your own car, and then would be fine. I mean, unfortunately, they don't have realistic damage. Or ra rather, mm. unfortunately for me, fortunately for everyone else in the lobby, specifically anyone who grieves me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My f my friend used to always fly planes, and he thought he could get bot. He had carpet bombing, which, if you know a GTA, is the least effective way to attack anyone. And he's <laughs> yes, you me. might as well just cover yourself in sticky bombs and run up to them. <laughs> we've done we've done that before. Oh God! Oh no! <laughs> just, my God, friend, I love, like every time I'm like my friends are strange like, people. Like every time I'm stressed, why do I feel like I get along with them? Actually, come to think of it, uh, you know, every time I'm stressed at work, I just hop on GTA. And I just go find like any low level players, and I'm like, you know, I wait for them to screw with me, and then I just, you know, unleash hellfire. <laughs> yeah. There's a uh, mod that's like, that somebody that's did a true way to, uh, with what I just deal with that. There. That's a mod, isn't it? That one. That that one's a mod, but like the normal flip car, I figured out there's a way for me to hack a jet engine onto it. Is it using it the wonderful. rocket Voltic or something? Uh, essentially, it uses like the engine from the rocket Voltic. Yeah. You do that on online, you can hack it into the... I did. I have I have friends who do CS, who make my life more fun. Wait, you play GTA on PC, don't you? Yes. That's, That's how. That's how. I do on PC, See, I yeah. play on Xbox, which means I don't have to deal with people like you. I got it. I actually got it, because I used to get groups, like, all the time. Because, you know, I had I had a pretty high KD ratio, naturally. Uh, mainly because the Mark II sniper rifle is my favorite gun in the game. Yeah. It's tough as shit to shoot, but like, oh my god. But no, and then I eventually got a uh, ramp buggy, and now that's my favorite thing ever. Yeah. I also found a way to hide my blip, so. Yeah. 
hide a massive uh, the, My favourite thing to do on GTA is Top Gear style car challenges, because it's the only game where you can really do everything you can do in Top Gear, including destroying them. Yeah, I mean, you do have to run for the cops, but I think Uncle Lester has you on that one. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no buying them. Like, for so 20, like, 25 grand challenge, you got the Sultan, you got the Intruder. To put these into car terms for people who don't play GTA, that's what a... I think Impre- it's like a... Imp- Impreza. That's me, then. Impreza slash W... Uh, Impreza slash WRN, IS300 slash... Yeah. It was Evo before the Karuma came out, and then the, uh, the Intruder is like a GS300. I did a $25,000 challenge in online. And, uh, you know, they're like, come get a car, you know, you have to, like, you know, just, like, you know, show off, for, like, you know, these, you know, these races and, like, you know, courses will do. And it was, like, a challenge to get to go rob, like, the gas, like, go rob, like, one of those, uh, those gas station shops. And, like, one of the 24-7s and just, uh, get away in your car. So when I showed up, they weren't surprised. I'm like, I got my car for way less than 25 grand. They're like, how did you do that? Like, what is it? And I said, nobody ever said I couldn't steal it as I drove up in a 9F Cabrio. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said I couldn't just steal it. <laughs> I said this is I said this is Grand Theft Auto, not Grand Buy Auto. So. <laughs> <laughs> See, what you should have said is get a car that's worth less than twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> well, I mean, after I was done with the nine F Cabrio, you could argue it was worth less. <laughs> oh. Yeah, just let Tavares. I did. Uh, I did with the I did with the uh, the young British fifteen year olds of the nineties did with their Ford Kazis. Yeah, just yeah. in a ditch. <laughs> no, remember in GTA, what happens if you hit the pumps? Ah, yeah, that one. Yep, yeah. full on explosion. Off the ramp. Yeah, talking about James Bid, does that mean it's not coming on then? Well, uh, <laughs> well, he's well, James, he's been burnt to a crisp in a pile of petrol. That's a no. <laughs> <laughs> or in my case, uh, anyone who trolls me, it's uh, well, well, James, he's been launched into low altitude Earth orbit using a flip car for jet engine. <laughs> Low altitude. He's been he's been flown to the cruising height of an SR seventy one Blackbird. Mm. Yep. Can I can I, can we just digress? Why does Jake Smoothie look like just egg yolk in a cup? That's what like, I was thinking. It looks like iced coffee. No, it what looks it is, like it's a banana yellow. and orange smoothie. Oh, that seems alright. So it it looks like okay. egg yolk. Uh, it's eggnog. <laughs> so well, look, if it was eggnog, I'd be drunk by now. Uh, I don't know people who drink you are. eggnog. You <laughs> wouldn't be making any dinner. sense at all. Am I really, though, now? Oh, a bit, yeah. There's a difference. Be- there's really a difference. It's a very subtle difference between, you know, my nonsense when I don't have anything in me and when I do. <laughs> very well, small you know, and very he, 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 Just for context, he did once buy a uh, Tesla Model 3 when he was uh, wasted on 10... Bottles of cheap beer, so you know, well, that's something. Yeah, Just for context, not a good idea. him and now I, when he's not wasted, and then him when he's wasted, he I goes and buys a Tesla. Uh, I do hate the Model Three base. Uh, had it for a little bit. I don't. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> that bad. It wasn't like okay. So like, I get it. if you're going to get like a C class. You know, you might as well go with the Tesla because it's really about the same amount of power, same usage, like the type of consumer who would have one. Yeah, uh, it's, it's just supposed to be like a, like a nice sort of luxury commuter. And if you think about it from that lens, Tesla makes sense. But when you start thinking about performance, get yourself an E46 M3 or shut the hell up. <laughs> uh, you know, like there's really no you know replacement for like an engine. There really isn't. Uh, if you want to do real stuff, like if you have one car, don't get an electric. If you have a second car, then maybe. Yeah. So you think... go Sorry, go to you go first. Oh, oh, I was gonna say that if you're gonna if you're gonna get one car as an electric, don't make it a lead. Don't make it with anything that has less than two hundred miles of range. You're not gonna get anywhere, and it's gonna take hours to charge. So you mean you can only get a Tesla or an e-tron or an yeah, EQS? But honestly, yes. Because they're the ones that have or the so the, or so the like, end, yeah. People get mad about they're saying, Oh, how could you have like a Model S long range? Uh chances are if you have a Model S long range and you were dealing a ninety thousand dollar US car, yeah. you probably have a Lamborghini. Or at least like a Porsche yeah, on the probably. other side of your garage. Hmm. You're yeah. set. Or a sh- you know? or or a, or a shed through full of old Fords that are worth a lot more than they should be. Yeah. Oh my God, you with the—that's what you think. Do that's you want to know? Do you want? Them. Do you want to know how much an Escort Cosworth would cost today? 
Uh, quite a lot, especially if it 70 has grand. Solid. 70 grand. 70, 70 000? grand, interesting. Yeah. I yeah. saw a perfectly mint uh, R32 Golf Mark IV manual, and I was shocked at how much it was. Mm. 47,000 US. That's not oh, that's, that's not. Yeah. But it's a Mark IV. It's like the worst golf they make. Yeah. yeah. It's mm. quite bad. So it had a manual and it had a V6 in it, you know, or like, what is it, like a VR6? VR6, like yeah. V6. Does, I forget like the way they do it, it's like, they also V6, they want but to make now. a W8. They once made a W8 for the Passat. And then a W16. This is just called, we can't fit this stuff into our car, so let's just improvise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> improvise, adapt, overcome, bear grills. I mean, or you could just, you know, just put a Passat big turbo on it instead. Uh, yeah. Again, that would actually probably be the Ford way, and it does work. I'll That'd give you the Ford way. Yeah. I like little Ford hatches. I just can't fit into little Ford hatches, and it's very sad. <laughs> <laughs> I see that one I sent a picture of. Yeah, I mean, I, I did. Well, I don't want that one. It's in the <laughs> ditch. It's, it's, not in a ditch. it's in the middle of a road. Can I get it like before it was Hammond eyes? <laughs> <laughs> before it was smashed. We need well, to send I mean, it, I it, send it to the school. I could get it before it was Hammond eyes anyway. I don't yeah. need to pay 70k. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. But um, you, we need to send this cog. Maybe they Just could sort it. One. Yeah, I mean, there was actually a perfectly. I gotta find the photo of it. Uh, it was like a perfectly. He's gonna need some time alone if he sees this photo of the <laughs> escort I saw. He might need some time alone. We might have to end this call. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, I, I don't have want enough to be that on the guy, phone. But it's true. Uh, where is it? I gotta find. I gotta look for a photo of. Oh, yeah. Oh, trust me. I, I was trying to find video clips of the Ford Escort for a YouTube video. I went on Vimo to try and find Creative Commons. When you type in Escort, first thing that comes That's up... Not... As, There's as many, as many the... things that he has to get through before he yeah. sees a photo. The first, the, fir the, first thing, the first thing that comes up as a suggestion on the search bar is Escort Ladies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's not. It That's... doesn't mean what you think it means. Yeah, is yeah. That what, no, you have to specify Cogsworth. But he pretended he was looking at the car. Yeah. <laughs> Underneath, escort Ford. Yeah. Underneath, escorts with an S. Oh god. Well, yeah. <laughs> it alternates. It alternates between car. It's like I've seen car. things that I can't unsee. Yeah. <laughs> you see, here's the great thing about Vimo. It pr it doesn't show the pictures. Immediate, unlike some other sites I went to. Okay, the hell oh god. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, sorry, other sites you went to. Yeah, yeah. yeah I went yeah, far and wide to find creative comedy yes, videos. Why did you invest so much time in this? Because finding <laughs> creative moving, commons moving clip on. is difficult. <laughs> moving on. Yes. Oh, you you haven't seen I'm Max Power. You, you haven't seen the Max Power magazine covers, have you? Thing. Oh my god, I, I'm not sure I want to know. No, you don't want to see them. Make sure you just DM them to him and not in this <laughs> chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah I will. Now. Private DM. Uh, I'm also going to say quickly, just, uh, you know, it's like, uh, uh, restrict messages from. Uh, <laughs> yeah. From Gallon of Jake. <laughs> no, it's not me, you, you numpty. <laughs> no, from, from Mr. Ford guy, you know? Yeah. No, he's gonna want to take the messages away from you because you're just gonna send him pornographic images of Ford escorts. <laughs> <laughs> I did drop two Fords in the uh, in the comments. Uh, or, uh, so you have I to haven't open the thought file. up to uh, Volkswagen. So this is a place called uh, the uh, Classic Car Club in New York. Yes, I want to open my photo. Fantastic photos. cars. First time I went there, they had a uh, a GT40. Whoa. With license plates, somehow they got it road legal. Huh. How did... How Apparently much I need... Uh, uh, someone uh, driving around... What kind of file are you trying to send me? I need a video extension to open it. <laughs> oh my god, it's just a photo of uh, the es of the escort Kazi. Actually, no, this is a Sierra RS, I think. Uh, I like... Yeah. Oh my god. Meanwhile, a Yabo. Oh, that, that's an escort, the one Cody sent. Yeah. Later. Why are you looking at photos of escorts during this reading? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Cody, you're the one that sent it. I know. Well, okay, fine. Fair enough. <laughs> yes, so yes, how do we get back to the drive tribe? 
Uh, Someone actually get, built let's a, allow... By the way, on the ramp buggy, somebody actually built a real life GTA. I saw player. it. I think it was on. I think some Russian video guys did it. Oh, yeah, and some it Russian actually... guys did it. I remember the uh, the, U the GTA YouTuber Elanip did a whole uh, review of it. Yeah, I think someone. I think it actually flipped the car. Cause... It did. It did. It flipped the car. Oh yeah. Speak. I, I mean, think it, like, it... it flipped like a Fiat Panda or something. But yeah. I mean, no loss there. But still. Yeah. Speaking of red, speaking of red cars, uh, I saw a Volkswagen at the car meet. Playing red looked like, but as it went past, massive turbo noises. <laughs> massive. Hold up. Yeah, hold up. Massive turn, turbo noises or massive turn, compensation noises. Turns hey, out. Yeah. It, had tuned, it had a tuned up Saab unit in. It. I All think that's just compensation single, then. Okay. Anyway. Every single kid at my high school. <laughs> With like a 1990s, like you know, Toyota Tercel, with like a huge, uh, like shotgun exhaust on the back of it. And I was just like, oh my god! I oh, think I've heard better. Mean, there was so my blender was... that I used to make my uh, egg yolk smoothie sounds oh, better. I, I, I've, I've heard what at the meet there was a micro which just had a straight pipe from the manifold to the back. Oh. Nissan micro one liter. If we're talking about terrible mods, yesterday I was driving around downtown and I looked behind me and I saw about like a 2005 based like mid to early 2000s Honda Civic with a purple underglow and the worst sounding exhaust I've ever heard in my whole life. Uh -oh. I don't even know what kind it was, but it, it was so obnoxiously loud. I think I might have gone to. I think they might have gone to Honda lawnmower parts instead. Uh, <laughs> just saying. Oh uh, yeah. Shitty car mods. Do you remember, uh, Layla? I actually got you uh, slightly pissed off with this one. Remember that like chrome, like candy purple wrap A7 I sent you? Yeah. With the donk wheels on it. Yeah. Do you know where I took that photo? I took it in one of the wealthiest places in America, and yet they had. That and I said, Look, money can't buy you taste. <laughs> money can't buy you eyes either. Apparently. Money can't buy you well, a, it can just buy you a bigger mistake. Sausage. Well, I mean, that, that 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 too is probably like some you know, probably probably daddy bought it for his daughter or something, you know. His blood is, is his daughter's name Helen Keller then? <laughs> no, because she'd probably eyes. need a Tesla uh, for that one if she had that issue going on. I was gonna uh, just say Kardashian for that one. <laughs> Probably Kardashian. <laughs> Probably. Kylie Jenner. Northwest, here's a new car. <laughs> I, I just like how you guys said money can't buy you eyes, and then LASIK is sweating in a corner profusely. <laughs> <laughs> Laser eye surgery well, I, be like, I like, nope. I like I like how we say money can't buy you eyes, and yet four of us have glasses. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one with good vision. No. <laughs> No, well, you like the Viper, so maybe not. Yeah. Well, what do you what do you have? What huh huh? What car do you have? Nah, I don't want to hear nothing. Mm -mm. Like Cody, you don't have a car. So well, really, drunk. You can shut it. Can I just? We're not. Listen, I have a rule. Can I just don't talk emphasize about how many thing. different cars he said he wants to buy? Yesterday it was a, it was a Lexus GX, and last week it was some kind of BMW, and the week before it was I think some kind of Chevy maybe or a Honda. No, not a Chevy, not a Chevy. Trust me, not a Chevy. <laughs> well, at, at some point you so did want a a Chevy Silverado Mountain Edition or something. With four wheel drive, unlike some people. <laughs> And really, the one thing that I really didn't like about her car is, like, do you know, like, that dark gray? Here's the problem with dark gray. You think black or you think orange looks like it's brown? Get any car. You, you remember that Golf, uh, no, the Polo GTI that yeah. Clarkson had? The mushroom. Was brown. Mushroom. <laughs> that was mushroom. Very... Mushroom. Mushroom. No, but I saw a mushroom Golf R. And mushroom. that one was actually a complete sleeper build. It had a... Uh, APR Stage 3, which if you know anything about the company APR, they'll put oh. a car, like a Golf R, they make it out to be 536 wheel horsepower. Yeah. Do you, do you want Sleeper? I I think Layla and Cody have seen this. You're going to have to download the image files. Hopefully it doesn't need any extensions. Please don't well, tell me it's an Escort. No, it's a Mini. Oh my god. Okay. Look at, first look at this picture. Look what it looks like. <laughs> Oh, That's what it looks like from the it outside. Says, you know how it says, like, accept files uh, from people <laughs> you trust? 
<laughs> do I really trust this man? <laughs> Click I to mean, find out. Click do I really want to find out? Oh my god, that's actually pretty many. That, yeah, that's just what it looks like on the outside. You want to know what's under the bonnet? What is? 2JZ. <laughs> it's a mini. Be realistic. 1JZ? 1JZ? 1J? It's just like a 2JZ being half, right? Yeah. 1JZ? One, 1JZ. One <laughs> 10 rappers and uh, Eminem was too afraid to diss. <laughs> One and two Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, isn't the one Jay Z? Shouldn't we just call it Jay Z? Actually, yeah. Fair enough. Wait, 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 wait. Jay Z and the Jay Z squared. <laughs> oh no. Let, let's, what? What? Uh, what? What have I? What have I started with my two Jay Z joke? Oh no. Mind you, I'm a GTR guy, not a Super guy. Just, but I do like the Super. But I just, yeah. I, on, I like all the drive. I saw drive. a GR Super today in the car show. Oh, quite nice. oh god, oh, I was for... about to say some things. That <laughs> is just a BMW, BMW Z4 yeah. with BMW crossed out and Super written in in crayon, and it's forty three thousand dollars too expensive, price, and, and it's absolute it. dog crap. It comes with I know cool. that I it's happen cool. to love the new Supra because I am a huge fan of the BMW M240i. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of the M140i, so I'm on the same boat there. Yeah, they are. I mean, honestly, I do, I do hate that you guys get like a real one series, and I'm stuck looking at an X1, which is a mini countryman, yeah. and somehow they've made a worse, a worse variant of a terrible car. Yeah. Did you see the engine that was under the? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> apparently, apparently it's 200 horsepower in a mini. With those yeah, wheels, it's like 200 horsepower doesn't sound like much, and then you realize it's in like uh, like, like a 2,000 pound mini or something. Like 800, that. Like 800, 800 pounds. Yeah. You said it had the power to weight of a Gen One Viper. Did you see what? I, oh my God! Oh wait! Oh, Mr. Viper's now gonna have this field day with that information. Uh, oh, did you see what I put in the chat about the Rolls Royce? Yeah, I yeah. remember reading that headline a while back. That yeah. ridiculous. Mind you, I so remember thinking that that is the worst, best idea someone has ever had. Mind right, you, right, did, exactly. Didn't the Unicorn Company put like an LS into a Rolls not a while ago. They might have done. I know that the LS swap is one of the only ways that people make me out as fast. <laughs> yeah. The quickest way to make six the car throttle. I mean, also, oh, yeah. remember how I said the 2JZ? I thought of an idea of how you could make Wait, it Wait, Cody, don't, don't you mean the Porsche-derived V6? No, I thought it was a Jag V6. It is Pretty a Jag good. V6, but for the last two years, uh, Alex has only referred to it as a Porsche-derived V6. Oh, oh, really? I haven't been yeah. watching car throttle videos. <laughs> I'm thinking about uh, something. I figured out how you could do, you could put an engine, a 2JZ, into that many. Strip out the back seats and do what Jeremy did to the... Yeah, but that's seat. not a sleeper. The entire interior is standard as well. Which means if you have an accident, you are dead. There is no roll cage. <laughs> yeah. You are immediately you, dead. It'll, you'll actually just be lit on fire if you put it in that back. mini, in America, you'd be dead anyway. If you hit yeah. Because we all drive F-250s. Yeah. yeah. In America, you either drive a big car or you'd... America's car, America's car problem is like nuclear weapons. When someone gets a bigger one, everyone else needs to get a bigger one. Yeah. <laughs> the Kim Jong Un has one, and then we're all screwed. Yeah. Or yeah. Mr. Ford has one and decides to get rid of like everything that's not a Ford. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I've given him ideas. That's a bad idea. Wait, when David comes to power. <laughs> When he becomes Prime Minister No, I'm not going to get rid of everything. I'm just going to ban Volkswagen. <laughs> I hate you. As long as you don't ban Ban the fight at Audis as well, because then Layla will also hate you. No, I'm just going to ban just Volkswagen. Just okay. Volkswagen. Fine, I'll buy an S3 instead. Yay! And S-Cars, because I don't like S-Cars. I want either an RS or a normal one. Make your fucking mind up, don't get the middle one. <laughs> Instead of, no, I'll get a base brown A6. <laughs> Mine's not the base model. The base model would have front wheel drive and a CVT, not the, not the Tiptronic and the uh, Quattro system. You're the only tech I know who has a real all wheel drive system. Well, look, since when did Audis make CVTs? They always have, actually. Since like the, really? since, like, the early 2000s, their front wheel drive cars have front track of the CVT, that's what they call it. 
Oh, and this is, thing, this is how much of an afterthought it is. Unlike any other car in the segment, think about it this way: a BMW is designed first to be rear drive, and then they add all-wheel drive. They add like a second, you know, like a, a front differential too, you know. And the thing is, whereas an Audi is supposed to be all-wheel drive, and then they just rip off the extra bits for the front-wheel drive one. Oh, so. should I should I tell you? You don't know about the Rover Seventy Five. The Rover 75. It's a Rover. I'm not sure. I want to know. No, the Rover 75 <laughs> was a car that was so that they were so confused while producing it. It was the only, f- it was the only car that only had front-wheel drive engine options, but still added a transmission tunnel. Because they were so confused while designing it, they were thinking it might be rear-wheel drive, might be. So they designed it with a transmission tunnel. I'm pretty didn't... sure, like I'm pretty sure that's like, uh, don't don't say that too much to Elon. He'll get that idea. <laughs> really? He'll put a hole in the front of a Model S for an LS V8. Yeah. Somebody well, well, they, well, they made a gas Tesla. They did. Yeah, I, I, I remember. Nolan the... Carter still would probably hate it. Yeah. 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 And Ethan Deggy, you say it's Ethan wasted. Deggie. Oh my God, he does drive. A, he does drive the Clarkson hard body. Yeah. He That's does. An impressive truck. Like That's really cool. Like, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, this is what happened. You were right at the beginning when you said, uh, we'll talk about DT for a little bit. We'll be like, oh no, um, you know, oh no, RIP, sad, sad. Oh, by the way, back to roasting forts and like, things like that. Yeah, yeah, and back to banning VWs and uh, being colorblind. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I know you are colorblind. You still think your car's black. I want to have Jake on as a semi regular <laughs> guest. <laughs> So what have they? Get. <laughs> Jake is just dying. Over- okay, okay. <laughs> Take oh down a notch. Gosh. Oh my god, this is <laughs> so good. We're with him, Jake, actually. <laughs> and on that bombshell. Yeah, okay. Uh, or rather, on that terrible disappointment for me. Uh, <laughs> you know, it is actually you know, on the DT now. I'm surprised. I just wonder how they went through all of that money. Well, well they had they had <clears throat> teeny bops in the finance department, is what they did. They this is Volkswagen, what they did. They, they had the they Volkswagen finance department. Pants. They had the Volkswagen finance department. Yeah, they had the people that were uh, finance for the Bugatti <laughs> Phaeton. That's what and, the, and the Volkswagen Phaeton. And, and the, the W8 Phaeton. for Sat. Yeah. And, the, and that, like, then that W12 Golf. And that yeah. W12 Golf, I was just going to say. And that. the W12 Nardo concept. Yeah. Yep. 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 Love that. They wish the, at least they're, at least the they're better than BMW. The yeah. At least they're better than BMW, where, like, BMW will make a 2002 concept and say, no, we're just going to, like, Show you that we can make it. Yeah, or they Same make a nice, now. beautiful, yeah. sleek, modern version of the 3.0 CS, and then they go, Which is no, a I can't terribly bother. large grill, it should be noted. Yeah. Yeah. That's a conversation where uh, if we did if we did this idle banter thing again on that topic, it would just be all of you listening to me rant and rage about it. <laughs> yeah, you, you you could actually just film the segment on your own in the comfort of your own home and not make us yeah. go deaf from it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I do have a lot of feelings about that new G80M3, which we will not share today. It's one of the reasons why I wouldn't mind you shitting at PSG. You should, you should have joined in the court of calls for that. Yeah. Oh, my oh God. God. How long ago? Oh, my God. Last. Yeah. That was at least... I did have that put down the pitchforks thing where I roasted Ferraris and BMWs and then made a couple of enemy, enemies in mm-hmm. the truck. <laughs> a couple yeah. is a... This is an everyday occurrence. Actually, oh, you know what? That's a, Actually, that's a great question. Who, what enemies have we made on Drive Tribe? Who, who well, have we made Jake enemies Savoy, Jake I, Savoy, I've tried to avoid... Jake Savoy, Nolan, Jake Savoy, <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, Jake Savoy! We'll stock it. We'll stock it, oh, we'll stock you. it, that twat. She um, doesn't like him, can't tell. I can't mm-hmm. remember who I've pissed He's off. He's a small-minded idiot who I think is literally the ghost of Jake Savoy. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Jake Savoy's alter ego, actually. Because sadly, he's not dead yet. Oh, my God. But well, we don't know it. I mean, he did have a 2006 Silverado, and he used to take it off-roading with two-wheel drive, so you never know. No, 2001. 2001. Why do you it was a 2001? <laughs> 2001. 
Oh, that's right. They had that generation look for a while. Oh, it, I think I remember, remember that guy. He wasn't. Oh, he hasn't been on in a while, has he? No, yeah. he was the one who was like so explicitly homosexual. Elikar Burn. Elikar Burn. Yeah. That yeah, guy. Yeah, that's what happened when uh, people found out that he doxed a fifteen-year-old. Yeah. David, who did you who did you make an enemy out of? Apparently, there's one guy. I'm trying to think. Sometimes, I would say for me, sometimes John Coleman. John Coleman. <laughs> I got into an argument with John Coleman because he because he he said that I come from Australia, a place that actually makes fast forwards. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> which that's, then, a, which, that's good shape, though. Which then I had to remind him that throughout the 80s and 90s, the Ford that dominated Group A touring cars in Australia was the Sierra. <laughs> the British Ford. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I went. Basically, that's going down to Bath and saying, "Q, we did it better." <laughs> 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 and then this, and then the skyline came out and screwed everyone over. The British Ford. <laughs> the British Fords were just were just like, "Screw you! You're just British <laughs> Texans." <laughs> that is what I think of Australians, actually. So that's yeah. pretty accurate. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Why do I feel like this is going to get us in trouble one day? Oh, well, how many days we have left at DT? It doesn't matter. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> we got like six days left. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. We, what are they going to do? Ban us? <laughs> I don't think they have the money for that, frankly. <laughs> no, don't worry. They've got Volkswagen accountants. They'll spend it anyway. Spend money they don't no, they just did the John Coleman's pants thing, and uh, they, sp- they overspent on that budget. I mean, how much money do they have that they could give away 20 quid a week to spots? It makes no sense. I also don't know how much money they have to promote anyone who writes on homepage. Yeah, yeah. it's probably why uh, Hammond had to sell a bunch of his motorcycles and, and old cars to um, fund <laughs> his, uh, his classic car business, because he had no money, because he was giving it to teeny bops who can't do an article properly. <laughs> oh my god. Or, uh, th- there is just too much, uh, talk of pink bets. Drive, drive bets. Tribe is like a big, is like a big turbo Evo. Anytime you want to use it, you have to sink more money into it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> every <laughs> single time you want to use it. Yeah. Or an old Jag. <laughs> or well, any, except yeah. my old Jag. old Jag. You're like the only one who has, like, broken the rules for old Jag. Yeah, it, it is Jesus Even Christ. Even Richard Hammond's Evo. Like, bro. Bro. Remember that in the south of France, they had the, uh, yeah. the F-type SVR, and then they yeah. had, uh, yeah, and uh, we all know what happened at Hammond's. Well, there is, well, well, to be fair, it's not an old Jag, Sony Cup. It was making squeaky My dad's voices. friend's next seat. Squeaky voices. Well, new, well, new Jags aren't entirely better either, though, well, so. They're, they're, yeah, so they're, 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 they're just less bad because they haven't been driven as much. I drove an XF, actually, the 2017 with the, three, with the supercharged V6. Yeah. I love that thing. It was really well, good. He got an X. But at the same time, I said, I don't have the money where when it breaks. You know what I mean? Yeah. How yeah. did he not also come to that conclusion when you thought you could buy an E90 M3? Uh, I don't. I actually have more money. More than alcohol. Than that. More booze. <laughs> <laughs> as far as Layla's Jazz is concerned, it just turns out her mechanics are god very. Yeah, just knows exactly much. what to do. But this man, I, I, you must, you must, you must like pay that person like millions of dollars. It was, this guy it was the, will have a, this guy will have a villa in the south of France with the word "paid for by Mars." Yeah, t- yeah. Turns out it was this, it was the E-type that went to Japan, which Toyota completely disassembled to build 2000 GT and put back together. That's yeah. why it's the only one that still works. It's just that development car. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just the E-type Toyota reassembled as well. Uh, it's got heritage. <laughs> But no, jokes aside, the E-Type does currently have a bit of a poorly battery, so it's not bad. entirely good, well, but it's but mostly oh, compared to like other Jags, it's doing pretty good. So. Yeah, because look, your Jag, your Jag doesn't have a proper mechanical problem until the water pump craps itself. That's when you have a proper... That's when you have a mechanical. No, that's battery. just when you attach. Yeah. That's what just when you attach a level hand. Level My hand dad did it. once have to find a way to, to get a stack coat, but the only product they ever made that didn't suck. What? Uh, Jack tried to make a vacuum cleaner. It was the only thing that they made that didn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> good one. I like it. That's a good one. Mm. 
So, Orly, what were you saying earlier? Because I think it might have had something related to the potential enemies we made on Tribe. Yes, Tribe. Orly, do you have any enemies from DT or Food Tribe? Um, I don't... I don't know exactly. It depends on what you mean. Just people that you fought with that or you now just, don't just, like you. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe you don't like them now. Uh, um, I'd say the Alfa Romeo Owners Club, by the way, for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I, I, I pissed off Rahil. That's one person I pissed off. Why? How did you manage that? Well. Wait, who? The guy who Which used to run one? fuel injection, which which is quite a problem. That, yeah. that guy who... Yeah. Well, what happened that was... was a big he, shot. Well, else. he bought a BMW X6. Oh, no. Well, his mom did, yeah. And so, I, it was about the same time my dad got the Prius. Okay. So, <laughs> which one was a sillier purchase? Spending £3,000 on a terrible car or spending £60,000 on a terrible car? Oh, no. <laughs> That's what you said to him? Yeah. <laughs> and well, then, the and then, and then, once he said he's had six cylinders, I said, "So does his Vauxhall Cavalier." Uh, yeah. <laughs> the first car of James. Yeah, we're like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So does a Citroen C6. Yeah, Citroen C6 is a half decent car, but it also has six cylinders. Yeah. That's anyway, way. Well, no, it comes with well, most of them are four cylinder diesels. It's one V6 mm. model. Yeah. Okay. So no enemies for you, Orly? We can just let <laughs> let um, everyone finish and then go back oh to uh, trashing on people. I, I can't reply you. Um, I don't. I don't have any idea. Sorry, guys. Mm. Yeah, no, draft tribe was a great platform. Yeah, yeah sometimes mm. they they were they were ups and downs. Yeah, it depends on on life. In five years, everything changed for me on Draft mm. Tribe. Uh, I knew the beginnings of Draft Tribe. Draft Tribe was very different from now. Before we added the creator, the yeah. creators program, mm -hmm. there were there weren't money, so you write uh, friendly on, on the platform until. Now, 2018, before the creator yeah. program appeared, when the monetization appeared, it was completely different. Mm -hmm. I think people uh, who were on the platform at the beginning left DT because it was too much. Being paid for his or Content was too much for uh, for for them. I think uh, I think it it's a major d difference from the former DT with the new DT. Yeah. Also, check my new background. For I saw that you. At least they saw the problem. Yeah, that just came up like two seconds after Oily began mm. talking. I just I I was so almost, tempted I to almost interrupt. Out laughing. Mm. I saw you. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I I'd like to say they they were a few a few generation on DT. I was there when DT was a baby, and yeah. and then I see how DT grew grew up with time, and mm -hmm. it's quite quite different. Question, I, do you guys remember Rolls Royce guy? And do you guys remember yeah. my ride? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's someone who I also pissed off. He, I was adamant that he was from the U.S. because he was. Okay, that's my dog. Yeah, dog. Um, <laughs> it's just some boys hated a cat. <laughs> no, but he, he. I actually, I made a poll on Drive Time that said, "Where do you guys think he's from?" And everyone said the U.S. And he was, he was like, "No, I'm not from the U.S." And I think. Either you or the other Jake, who is now probably dead, found probably it. It, it, it was um, it was probably it was probably you. Um, uh, I think you found um, his Facebook account, where he you. said that he lives in San Francisco. You stalker! <laughs> you put out a hit on that man. 
That was true because it was like that weird guy. All I did was troll him incessantly. That's also how I made a slight enemy of Mr. Uh, Mr. Pants. <laughs> yeah, but ultimately he sided with, well, at least me, because he, he made sure that that guy was off DT, so. Well, then there was Prius fanboy, then there was Porsche fanboy, then there was Pontiac fanboy. Like, the, the, I, the think whole Prius Prius Kyle, Kyle. Kyle. I think Prius fanboy has returned. I've seen him around a couple times. Yeah, I have. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and it's not me on a second account, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you be Ford Escort. I, mean, you have one. I do family. have some questions that will be raised because he does have one. Well, you, you see, the problem is I hate this. Is the, the brilliant thing about having crap cars is you get have something to laugh about. Yeah. Uh, with, the problem with the Volkswagen is boring. There's nothing wrong with it, but there's nothing good with it either. It's just dull. Have you ever driven like a 2010 Focus? Then you'd have the same opinion. I've driven one car and I crashed the it one immediately. The one with SES on the back with the, like the little fake wing. You see, I've yeah. driven one car and I crashed one it immediately. One that looks like so I'm not, a I'm not off to a good track record. That ate He's too much already of Richard Hammond. No, but, 20, but uh, the 2010 Focus was an American was an American creation. You had but a different. He's like, but he's Europe. Richard Hammond in that he's like he likes American cars even though he's British. No, I like British. I I'm like on, British cars. I'm on American this American, and I'm not British. Did, uh, the last wedding that you were invited to, did you wear cowboy boots and chaps by any chance? No, I wore a hoodie actually. Somehow that's oh, worse. So you're just a <laughs> Somehow that's so, so Someone who likes the, a Ford this Escort this slim shady of is a yobber. I I have a, I have two Eminem albums on CD. I've got the Marshall Mathers LP, and I have Recovery. This is a very modern man we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, but the funny thing is, he still can't even listen to his CDs and his old Fords because the radio's been stolen. Yeah. <laughs> no, the radio's still well, there. The rest of the car's down, gone. Cause... Actually, <laughs> it's, it's, like a steering, it's just a steering wheel and a radio. So There's just a dashboard else. sitting there. The rest of the car's gone. <laughs> well, it was made of cheap plastic. I'm pretty sure the thieves didn't want that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it came out as they were accelerating away, and then it just fell through the rust hole in the back. Yeah, they just, yeah, it just fell through. Uh, I remember there was somebody who said that, like, you know, growing up, they had a car, it was an old Subaru, which, uh, it, was a, it was a manual in, like, the 80s. It had no clutch, like, it, it broke, the clutch broke. And they had a hole in the back seat, like, Fred Flintstone hole you could put your feet through. Oh, my dad had a car like that. I think it was, he said it was a Fiat Uno. He had. Oh, God. My dad had, his first car was a 1967 Camaro SS with yeah. no brakes. <laughs> so actually, there's a funny story. When his brakes went completely, he's driving through the Long Island uh, Expressway out here in New York. It gets to there's a toll bridge, and remember, back then you couldn't just drive through it. You had to stop and give person the money. Yeah. So he starts at the the beginning of the bridge. He starts using the handbrake and downshifts. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky bastard! <laughs> <laughs> you utter, utter. Faster, you, or, or rather, you infantile pillock. That's the one. <laughs> you infantile pillock. Since the viewers won't watch this, while we're having a conversation, me and Jacob are going to do a slight insult battle in the in the chat section. Just incendiary yeah. memes. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna meme each other to, to, to death. War. Yeah. I've got one for you too. It's coming. Uh, <laughs> this is war, anyway, buddy. Let's continue. Um. What? So. I have to say, I don't... Okay, I know... Okay. I made a lot I made a lot of enemies on Drive Tribe. Um, but a not lot of them me. were kind of... Huh? Not more than me. Probably not, not no. Uh, and certainly not more than me with Mr. Put Down the Pitchforks podcast. Yeah, yeah. And most... To be fair, most of them were kind of like one-and-done type people. Like, sort of low, low effort. Oh, troll yeah. Account. Well, not troll accounts. I mean, they were troll accounts. They just weren't low effort. But... The one I know the one time I probably made an enemy out of a quarter of Drive Tribe was back in 2019 after I joined the creator program and I made an article I called Carlosophy. Can Europe make a muscle car? I got about a hundred and fifty odd comments. Most of them were mad. And apparently that post had been uh, promoted to Facebook. I wasn't on Facebook at that time, so I don't know what the comments were. I don't oh, no. think I want to know. That was like with me when I uh, did my article about how EVs are not actually that environmentally friendly. I got like a hundred comments, all of which 
with people going, you autopilot, like, you know what you're talking about. One guy explicitly said, because I said in, in the article that all the batteries go to a landfill when they die. Yeah. And and he said, no, they don't. And I just I just found a, a, a scholarly article that said that they do. Oh, that's not fair. I thought and I just... I like, no, they don't. They all go to my... this is Howie Powers' laptop. Okay, okay. I just He's linked it to him. Head. This is Howie Powers' laptop. Oh, no. <laughs> this is getting terrible in the comments of Sean of our conversation. Just. <laughs> 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 Listen, okay, who call rolls the most, to be honest? It's definitely Ford truck owner. No, it's definitely Volkswagen. If you ever come to the UK, it's always a Mark IV Volkswagen Golf 1.8 turbo, just blasting it down with smoke coming out the side and out the front under the bonnet because that's what Mark IV Golf does. Just oh my god! The only oh, thing no, I got one that mean better is if it was Thomas the Tank Engine with a VW base on it. That's the <laughs> only thing you need. Dun, 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 Don't touch it. Yep. <laughs> And on that disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> See, I've seen that meme before, though, with the wheel, and it disappoints me because it's so true. They look the same. Yep. I quite well, literally well, do. Volkswagen design department. It also looks strangely similar to a Titan 7 wheels. Yeah. Okay, so we've given up completely on conversation, and we're just sending memes in a weird... Yeah. Okay, enough with the memes, please. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Back to trashing half of DT. Um, <laughs> Apparently, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, okay, we should make it clear that despite... all these things because, like, what what are they going to do? They don't have the money to go after us. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even know who, like, what our names are, barely. They, they, uh, they, our they, names they don't know are... how to block, they don't know even how to block This one doesn't us. explicitly... They have the money to code that. This one doesn't explicitly say... There you go. My last shot. There you go. This doesn't explicitly say Volkswagen, but it does apply to Volkswagens. That's a jet. Oh, no. <laughs> Why have you insulted Layla instead of me, you utter colic? I typed <laughs> Volkswagen memes and that came up. That's literally, you, you've, you've gone, okay, I've got two feet, I'll shoot myself in that one. <laughs> Damon, that's friendly fire. <laughs> Listen, you don't, you don't insult hey, Jack Grimes because they, you they put people in the boot. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll be in the boot without your head. And she's got a, she's got a, she's got an E-type, which means the boot isn't very big. So yeah. you'll be quite so uncomfortable. So remember, my Prius is an LPG tank, so when you come in to rear end it, you're going to blow up too. <laughs> I'd rather blow up than have anything to do with a Prius, frankly. <laughs> So you know like that Japanese, like, okay. suicide, this that's one, what I'd what, have to This apply. one comes up on the screen, we will be banned from YouTube. <laughs> yes. Okay. Enough of oh my memes. god. Please don't Can give us demonetized immediately. Season before they kept oh, being oh. childish and without yeah, yeah. This, this, this one will get banned. Uh, I don't but remember don't what do I was it. saying before that. To be honest with you. At the moment, the only thing I'm looking- the only thing I'm doing right now is looking at that article I mentioned, trying to find the worst comp- the- the-, the maddest it's, comp. It's in the chat now. What? What's in the don't chat? Don't open it up. Don't Layla, look don't at it. it <laughs> Too late! Too late! <laughs> He's seen things that he can't unsee. <laughs> yeah, I don't okay, think, so, to close out though, so, Orly hasn't made that many enemies, if any enemies at all, which is very admirable, because that's better than I think half of us. Yeah. We're, we're, we're just all of us. unintentionally the and intentionally four of us. Yeah. Yeah, pissing people off. Mm. Uh, Layla has made many an enemy. Jake's made many, many, many an enemy. I pissed off my boss. Damon has pissed off Rahil, which I think... my boss at the time. Yeah, exactly, I've exactly. The off. worst thing you I've could do is Evan piss Andrews. off your own boss. Yeah. I've and then I... Evan Andrews. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Actually, there is one person... But I guy needed pissing off. He he needed to just get a little slap of sense. Oh, I mean, he bought an, he bought an e-tron. And the BMW X7. There's a bigger problem there. Yeah. He's driving right. around in a electrified pile of poo. <laughs> this is coming from an audio, okay, okay. by the way. Okay, that I think that one might be a bit too offensive to put in chat. <laughs> it well, probably will be, yeah. But if, now if it's worse that? than what you posted before, it probably will be. No, not this one. There's another one, and I've decided yeah. not to save that onto my PC. 
I'm gonna buy some check engine things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yes. god. I, I, I don't know. Um, oh, an accident this is great. Right? This is utterly... Alright, this isn't as terribly and politically incorrect as yours. But it is very representative of the truth. Oh, if you bring oh, no. that, if you bring it, if you bring some, I've, I've got oh, it. Just on a technical point, how would you even change gears with the first one that you said? You push it forward, then push it left, and then or for the second you push. Which it gear is which? Second. Forward is first, left is second. <laughs> forward third, is first. There and it is. Third is to the right. <laughs> uh, okay, I think Oily wanted to uh, say Mr. something. Yeah. I think yeah. so. Maybe accidentally put her hand up, or yeah. take accidentally yeah. hand up. I have one question for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. How do you describe drive tribe in one word? Only one word. Ooh. Only one word. I know word. it's difficult. Yeah. I know because I never manage to I, I find just one, 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 one word, a unique word to describe how was my experience on the platform. For you. I, I, I could do it in, in a sentence, and that sentence would be better than Cog Throttle. <laughs> um, <laughs> but if my I just had is, one word... Do you word... say one word, and does it, is it my experience or just drive tribe itself? Because yeah, mine would be interesting. interesting. That would be my word for my Mine would be... My word uh, for drive tribe itself is Unique broke. is mine. This is my last one, okay? I'm giving... Uh, I'm, I'm closing down this tab. <laughs> I, I, I wonder what happens when the government sees. Uh, I've actually seen that with Forge, which is kind of funny, because that's what's been whited out, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> One word to describe Drive Tribe, uh, or and or my experience. So okay, okay. One word to describe Drive Tribe, blessing. One word to describe my experience on it. Uh, yeah, it's difficult. But... It's difficult. I can't. I can't copy Jake. So, haha. Only well, I said. Everyone would know. Yeah. Okay. Two words. Controversial. Uh, I can do. I can do it in one word. Controversial. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. See, but mild. you and Jake are definitely controversial. I'm just yeah. mildly irritating for some people. Uh, wrong. You could say that, Mister uh, Viper ACR. <laughs> Oh, well, I thought you ended. Now I'm going to have to open that tab back up. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the literal definition. Because if you're on a laptop, you know this. Or on a desktop, you know that this is actually a sidebar conversation that's going on in chat. Yeah. 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 Like, it's actually a sidebar conversation. Okay. Continuation. I might have that, to go that's my, and That go. was my experience because for me, Drive Tribe was just kind of a continuation of what I was doing on Car Oh Tribe no, I've said that for a while. Where's yeah. the new one? There's a new one. Yeah. It's yeah. a new adventure. It yeah. Just... Yeah. Yeah. Because unfortunately, unlike, okay, unlike Jake and Layla, where most of their adventures came from DT, especially when it came to pissing people off, most of my adventures for pissing people off was on Car uh. Especially. What and was, then it just kind of well, continued well, on half DT. Of saying literally yeah. would piss people off. Yeah, but okay, 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 here's the thing though. Like, okay, you, okay, Jake and Layla are fairly well known on Drive Tribe. Okay, and Nolan Carter, uh, mm. Nolan Carter, Carter, Ethan, Dej, a lot, of, a lot of those people are known. I'm not, but I was on Car Throttle uh, because of in how many comment sections <laughs> I was in at that time. So I was... To a lesser extent, the Layla of Car Throttle. Because I, I ended up making so it you feel about my pain, to see. How are you still alive? <laughs> Did you yeah. also have well, a brown how Addy? am I still alive? Did yeah. you also have a brown Addy? I, no, I don't know. I have a, I actually have a VW myself. But, well, my parents have a VW, funnily enough. <laughs> but This is why I don't he's care. been I, silent in our little war. See, but I don't care about VW. I don't care about Priuses either. I just hate them. See, but, I, see, but I'm... The man I who loves neither care nor hate. Let, let that sink in for the viewers. <laughs> and, the, and the previous car was a Vauxhall. That's not much better, right? Yeah, no, it's no. actually worked somehow. Ironically, <laughs> both, both Fords yes, my dad's true. had both turned out to be complete rock boxes that had to be scrapped. 
They both failed their MOT. So it's really <laughs> outlining uh, Jake's new uh, background now. The At least they've solved the problem. The one problem with it's the Euro problem. is the one problem with Euro Euro Fords is the rust. They are yeah. they rot like nothing else. They're not the worst things in the world. I mean, consider when British Leyland was around at the time, so... No. Yeah. But... Remember, the, remember the Austin Princess? Yeah, I oh, do. Oh, yes. Oh, God. A block of cheese. A block fair, of cheese on wheels. The, the SD1 would rot a lot quicker. They'd go within a week and a half. The SD1. A couple of weeks isn't enough. Oh, oh this is... Oh. Okay. Let that open. You know what? So, something that was, something that Layla had brought up early in a previous podcast that I found interesting is that she joined Drive Tribe in 2018, which was interesting because I always I I only joined in 2019, very late. But in the early days of DT, I had actually been given an invitation to join, like 2017, 2018, but I ended up ignoring it. <laughs> kind of wish I didn't ignore it now. Hmm. You're okay because uh, I'm. I'm saving my content. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah. And I, I have about two hundred articles to save. Oh God. No. Yeah, yeah. It's a long, long, long time to, to save your content to have, a souvenirs or something like that, or, yeah, just put the button, format PDF. And then you you, you 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 do again and again and again. Rinse and repeat. Until yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah yes. I During was just like a I spent, I spent many hours to do mm. the same thing, and I was uh, I was there. Oh my god! Again fifty articles. Again twenty one. <laughs> it's a long process. Yeah. yeah. You're okay really because. Uh, I signed up in 2017, and, and yeah. uh, I didn't re realize how many time I spent on on DT. Five <laughs> years it, uh, is a long, long time for oh. in a life. It's a yeah. short, a long time in a life. Mm -hmm. Draft life changed my life literally. So, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. You're a baby. Way, uh... <laughs> sorry. I may, I may, uh, I'm sorry to be laughing, but I just saw the meme that was just thrown in about the VW. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I was just saying a very sentimental thing, right? And the next year I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Which does actually have a photo of a lady crying in it, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw it to the end of light. Yeah. <laughs> Two blocks away. When I knew DT was. When I knew DT will be shut down, I was sad, obviously. But finally, it's a new adventure for for, for us. Some yeah. of us have have created new platforms, new websites, yeah. mm -hmm. new YouTube ch channels, and what you want on Instagram or other social media. Yeah. So it's a new adventure. Finally, I'm not so sad about the end. Mm -hmm. I'm just dis disappointing the, the end uh, is like that. It's yeah. it's like everything is gone without nothing at the end. When the servers will be shut down, shut down the, it will, everything will disappear. And it's a sad, it's a sad end. Yeah. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not sad because I met a lot of, of excellent people. I met I met good friends, and I can't forget what I lived there. Yeah, it's one of those things where you're not sad that it existed, even though it's ended. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just it it just the fact everything with everything is gone in a few days now. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, I don't now. understand this. Why you, you, uh, can't they just keep the domain name? You can buy a domain name for like twenty dollars US. Yeah, and just yeah. buy oh, it. Or, or you could buy it's several a tribe it, it's a to give some final batch hands awards to people. That's probably where they put their money instead. 
yeah. or give it away to people who found who spotted a Lamborghini, blah blah blah. <laughs> no, they just gave, no. What they did is they gave it away uh, so that people could go buy uh, Mach-E's. Yeah. Oh.